What's up guys, Weather Wednesday, coming at you with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today, I want to do a little celebration, because I've been playing this game for three years. Now there's supposed to be a promo code when you reach an anniversary. A couple days ago I tried this, I mistyped it, but I just wanted to show you, it's still invalid even when I type it correctly. It's supposed to be yearly gift. It doesn't work. Tell me why it doesn't work. I would love to know. But I have had this account for three years now and I have acquired quite a number of legendaries over this time. Only one mythical, Lady Mikage. You should know her well by now. But what I want to do, this is something I did two years into the game. Now I want to do it three years into the game. And I'm going to rapid fire grade every legendary that I have on my account. I'm going to tell you where I use them and what I think about them. And I'm going to grade them based on how I feel about them for my account. But if I grade somebody low, that you think is amazing i'd love to hear about how you use them where you use them because this game is full of surprises sometimes a champion that you think is terrible turns out to be great once you figure out how to use them so i'm going to start off i'm just going through the index here i'm going to start off with banner lords work my way down to sylvan watchers one at a time let's go let's try to make this as quick as possible i know it's going to take a long time Sethalia, uh, I never use her. For me, she's an F. I don't even use her, even with a six star blessing, I don't use her anywhere. I'll probably use her in Curse City someday. Rhonda, I absolutely love her in live arena situations. She's super great. She takes down Sun Wukong. I'm gonna give her an A. Black Knight. I think I've used him a little bit in Curse City. Not great. I'm going to give him a D. Hillior, same thing. He's a little bit useful because of uh, his shield in Curse City. I'm going to give him a C. Not amazing. Timmit, I think, is a little bit underrated. I actually like him. He's got some great control. I'm going to say he's a B. Uh, Rathalos, Blade Master, up until this week, basically. I used him in Hydra. Uh, he doesn't currently fit with any of my teams, but I'm looking to see if I can fit him back into a team because he's really good. I'm gonna give him an A. Uh, Adeline was a free login champion that I have never once used. I think that she could be useful in some situations. I would give her a C. She's an okay champion uh, with some possibilities. Lugan, the stat fast, I was really disappointed in this champion. Like, he can be somewhat useful in, like, Curse City situations. Faction Wars, if you need him, I give him a D. He's very disappointing. Richtoff, I don't use him at all. He used to be, like, a clan boss poisoner. But <clears throat> the game has developed way beyond that. I'm going to give him an F currently in the game. Baron, I absolutely love. He hits super hard. Uh, he's maybe not the meta champion, but he's still really amazing. I'm going to give him an A. Mariska. Favorite, best champion, most usable everywhere in the game champion. I love her. She's absolutely S tier. S tier is as high as I'm going to go. I'm not doing the S plus plus plus, whatever. She's amazing. She's great in Hydra. She's great in all arena situations. Maybe not a live arena so much, but it really helps if you have a Taurus. I don't, but she's still amazing. I use her all over Doom Tower. Lots of different dungeons. Like, I use her in Dragon, I think. Uh, and maybe uh, Ice Golem. But she's in my best Hydra team. She just keeps the team alive. I love her so much. One of the best champions I've ever pulled. 
probably the best champion on my account, to be honest. Uh, hi, elves. Alanaru, I actually love this champion, but she works a lot better with, like, having a Kavalax, having a ton of poison, so I don't really get to use her. But I still think that she is an A champion in the right situation. I don't really use her a whole lot myself anymore. Alexander the Sharpshooter, unfortunately. He was a free champion, too. He's not great. He's honestly an F. You can build War Maiden cheaper. Does a similar thing. Shiromani is not great. Uh, I have never used her for anything. I mean, you can technically use her for a freeze. She's not terrible, terrible. I'm going to give her a D. <laughs> she, she's not great, but you could probably use her somewhere. Uh, Deliana is actually a little bit underrated, even by me. I don't really use her, but I think that she could make a solid Hydra Champion. I'm gonna give her a B. Uh, Incarnate, uh, I have finally built out. I have never used her. Uh, I don't have a use for her. I'm hopeful that someday she can be usable, but right now she's honestly an F. But I would love it if somebody showed me where she's actually usable. Lysandra is actually still very useful. Uh, she's great for the Dark Fey, and she can be used in some arena situations uh, just for her uh, increased speed. And I think somebody told me that they actually... No, 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 no. Somebody told me that they used Lady Kimmy in Hydra, but I think Lysandra could be used in a similar way, perhaps for Hydra. Anyway, I still think that she's like an A- minus champion, like she's still very good, very useful. Royal Huntsman, I have never used for anything. I think he can get hit kind of hard, but I don't really need him. Uh, for me, he's an F. Yannicka, uh, she is on the Wixwell Hydra team. Uh, it's a very difficult team to build. If you can build her, she's S tier. If you can build the Wixwell team and you don't hate building the Wixwell team, She's an S tier champion. Other than that, she's like a B tier nuker. Uh, Tatura uh, can also fit into one of those Wixwell teams. Uh, I think he's a very solid champion that can be used. I used him early on in uh, my Demon Lord teams. I think uh, overall he's like a B tier champion, but he can be used in that Wixwell team. So that would bump him up to maybe A tier. Uh, but he is quite replaceable in that situation as well. Arbiter, I still think that she's S tier. Like, she's still used in a lot of situations. She can be used in Hydra. I just took her out of my Hydra team as well. Uh, but I still use her in a lot of arena situations because I have a relatively fast Arbiter. Uh, Supreme Alhane, she is a usable, pretty good nuker, uh, mostly for arena. I would give her like a B plus. Like she's decent. I used her in arena for a long time. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's move on to Sacred Order. I do not pull Sacred Order very often. It appears. Wixwell was a fusion. Obviously, he is S tier. If you have the patience for building him in either Hydra or uh, Demon Lord Clan boss, he's amazing for that. I don't know if he's used anywhere else. Uh, he's S tier if you can build that team. Uh, Bavald, I have three copies of Bavald. I don't really like him. I think that he is at best a C tier provoker. Not great. Don't love him. He frustrates me. Barbarians, Seal of the Drakes is so underrated because you get her free at six months, I believe. Uh, she is absolutely amazing if you are progressing as in your, in your account. And I still use her to this day, not just in faction trials, but in some Doom Tower situations. I love her. I still think that she is an A champion. Oh, pardon. I actually skipped this fusion, and yet I still have two of him. And he is an okay healer. I don't love him. I'd say he is a C champion. Uh, Cronam is somebody that you can only get uh, by having referrals reach a certain level. 
I did those levels myself. It was very frustrating or it was very hard, but he is an A tier champion. Uh, if you want to use him in a similar way to Ninja, you can use him like for a Sand Devil team or something. Uh, he, he has a HP burn. Maybe he could be used in Hydra as well. I'm not totally sure about that. But I still think he's very good. I'll give him an A. Armand's is S tier. Everybody who has him uses him. If you can get more than one copy of him, uh, don't cry about it because you can use him in multiple situations. Uh, he's just S tier for his control abilities. And you know, you know you use him if you have him. Uh, Cantra is actually a very good provoker. Uh, basically, as long as you can get enough debuffs, you have to get five debuffs on the enemy. And so if you can build her uh, in a good Hydra team, she is an A tier uh, provoker. She's very good. I use her in one of my Hydra teams currently. Uh, yeah, Carl is a very usable nuker with a freeze. Uh, you could probably use him uh, to a certain degree in uh, hard fire knight. It might be difficult to get him to fire knight hard 10. I'm sure somebody has and somebody can. Uh, and he is somewhat useful in uh, life arena situations. Maybe not like the top level, but he's very good. I'm going to give him an A. <clears throat> uh, let's see. That brings us down to Ogryn tribes. Big gun I got fairly early in my account and he is okay for like faction trials curse city he's really not good enough for arena in my opinion he's okay he's got that stun i use him a little bit i'm gonna give him a c war mother is absolutely a trash bomb champion that i think very few people use i'm gonna give her an f i don't ever use her for anything uh ignatius is a decent hp burner He's a dime a dozen. There's lots of him, but he's still a B champion. Like he can get the job done for like a uh, spider or whatever. Uh, Gerp Tuck, Mossbeard. Uh, he is an S tier champion. If you can build one of those fancy Hydra teams. Otherwise he's complete trash uh, because I don't have like a Yumiko or like a Lanicus or uh, I don't have some of those champions that you need to put with Trunda. He's absolutely trash to me. I hate him. He's an F tier champion, uh, unless he's an S tier champion. He's just, he's kind of one of those weird people. For me, he's F tier. Uh, for some people, he is S tier because he he can really uh, up the damage for those Trunda teams. Uh, Gerda, I absolutely hate. She's like an okay poisoner. She's usable. She's probably a C tier champion, but I don't really use her for a whole stinking lot. Maybe something in Curse City or whatever. Shamrock isn't bad. He's got decreased speed and increased speed. Uh, he could probably be used in Hydra. I haven't really tried him out there. I've mostly just used him in Curse City stuff. I think he's okay. I think he's probably a B tier champion. Uh, Dracul I've had for a very long time and I never use him for anything because he is absolutely terrible. He's an F tier champion. He's got like kind of a lame shield. <laughs> I, I don't like him at all. Uger the Worm Eater, I skip this fusion, and like most of the fusions that I skip, I end up <laughs> pulling them anyway, and I'm not really interested in using this champion anywhere. I don't know where anybody else, where anybody uses him. He's an F tier champion to me. Lazar, uh, he's disappointing to me, but he's not terrible. Like, I use him in some Curse City situations. Uh, because he has like a freeze like he's okay he's like a b tier champion like somebody probably uses him better than me but for my account he's okay he's a b uh lizard man draco morph i got very early in my account and he was absolutely amazing uh he's still very good for demon lord you can fit him into certain situations he's got this decreased defense and a weekend plus a super strong poison he's still very good but he's probably just a b tier champion now uh, Razin is a fusion who I pretty much never use. Uh, he was very good at one point in time, but now he's really an F tier champion. He needs another buff. He's super slow also. Uh, he can hit okay and he's got 
this decreased defense in a weekend, but he's not he's not anything in this in uh, the game today, really. He's an F to me. Pythion is still very good. Uh, Fusion last year, maybe year year and a half ago, uh, kind of a discount Duchess on some sort of level. Not quite as good as Duchess, but still very good. I use Pythion uh, in some dungeons and some arena situations. Uh, I still say that Pythion's an A tier champion. Orgum Car is not that great, even with the buff. Um, he's very situational, but most of those situations is. You can use him in like faction trials and uh, Curse City and stuff. He's a D tier champion, maybe. Nekmothar, I just summoned, and he instantly went into one of my Hydra teams. I think that Estrid is a better version of Nekmothar. Uh, I could be wrong about that. Maybe some people like Nekmothar better, uh, but I have Estrid in my top Hydra team, and Nekmo is then in my Brutal team. So. He's still really good. I really like him. Uh, I, I probably need to build him a little bit better. I, I threw on some stuff to try to work out. Uh, I am curious if he can uh, be put into damage gear like Astrid, but I don't know if he can. But he's still, I'm going to say, for Hydra, he's S tier. Like, he's up there. Like, maybe A tier. Maybe S is too strong. He's kind of borderline. We're going to call him A+. A plus. Uh, Romanto? I got him like a year ago. Maybe just under a year ago. And I didn't use him for the longest time. But now I started using him in a lot of live arena situations. And I love him for that. Because uh, he not only strips their buffs. But he can also block active and passive skills. Which is amazing. You take down those... Uh, those annoying uh, Sun Wukong teams uh, use him with Rhonda, and if they block one, the other one is going to uh, take down the that annoying passive skill of his. Uh, I actually really like him now. I'm gonna say he is A tier. Uh, of course, he can be polymorphed, but you just have to deal with that, I guess. Skinwalkers, Norog is terrible. Nobody uses Norog. Come on. He, He's got an AoE block bus, which is good. And a attack one enemy block active skills. There's just not enough. They could make him good if they buffed him a little bit. If they added something something better than a block active skills. Maybe if he hit hard or something. But he's an F for me. Razzlevarg, super underrated. He is a great Hydra nuker. And he's also great for hard fire knight. I'm going to say that he's an A-plus champion as well. Bambus is a little bit underrated. Uh, he is actually very good for Dragon. And he is usable in the lower levels of Hydra. I like him a lot. I'm going to say that he is a B-plus champion. Uh, Mighty Uko? Uh, I don't use Mighty Uko as much as I used to, but he's still very good. Uh, he can be used in... Some arena situations can be used in Hydra. Uh, I still like Mighty Uko, but maybe not as strong as he was when he came out. I'm gonna say A minus. Uh, let's see, Brachus. I don't really like Brachus. I've got two or three copies of Brachus, and I don't really use him. He can be kind of annoying to go against an arena, but I wouldn't say he's good. Uh, he might be situationally good in something like. Uh, Fire Knight, if you don't have a better option early on. I don't really like him. I'm going to say that he's like a C- minus champion. I don't, I don't like him. Uh, Nishak, Vermin Lord, I actually love this dude. Uh, he's great in Live Arena. Uh, he's great in a lot of dungeons. Uh, he's great in Doom Tower. I use him in my Doom Tower waves. He is usable in Hydra. Uh, I'm going to say that he is an, he's an A champion. He's just so good. Uh, Snake Track. I feel like he's pretty good, but I just don't have a place for him. Uh, I, I've heard him being compared to like a mini Krisk. I think that's a little bit strong, but I think he is usable in Hydra. I'm going to say he's a B, but let me know if you use him and love him. 
uh, Cleopteryx, Cleopteryx, however you want to say her name. You get her for free. She can be used in faction trials, but she's not really strong anywhere else. I don't really love her. I think she's like a D plus champion. She can get you through faction trials if you need a little bit of nukage in that area. Sun Wukong is S tier. Everybody who has him uses him. And just about everybody has him. Uh, I mean, they just discount or just took away his promo code or something. Uh, so pretty much everybody has him. I use him. You use him. He's an S tier champion. Uh, let's see. Orcs. Orcs, Orcs, Grow Hack. I don't like him. He can be used in like Dark Fae or something, but... I feel like there are better champions for that. I'm going to say he's like a D champion. Like he could be used, but I don't use him. I don't like him. Uh, Artak is amazing. He's he's an A champion. I use him in my Nightmare Hydra team. Uh, he has these amazing burns. He's also great for uh, Hard Ice Golem. I use him all the time. He's great. He's great in Cursed City. Totally usable in a lot of areas. Gomlock, Skyhide, I honestly forgot I even have him. Don't use him. As far as I know, he's an F tier champion. Very basic skills. I mean, he's an epic in legendary disguise. Varl the Destroyer, I am trying to use him. I'm trying to figure out a place for him because he's supposed to be great in Hydra. I'd say he's an A champion that I need to figure out. I'm trying to. Right now, I'm trying to fit him into one of my Hydra teams. Uh, so, I mean, for me so far, he's been an F, but he's not an F. He's he's at least an A tier Hydra Nuker. He's very good. Uh, I just I just need to figure him figure him out. Warlord is an S tier champion that I underutilize. I just don't know how to fit him into my arena teams. Uh, I do use him in some other areas of like Doom Tower or whatever uh, because he has uh, the shield and block buffs. He can be good at, against like Scarab King and stuff, but he's mostly loved for his arena abilities and I have a hard time getting him into my teams, but he's great. He's hard to go against. Uh, it's just hard for me to use him. He's an S tier champion though. No two ways about it. He's still great. Uh, Supreme Gaelic, uh, one of the five Void Legendaries I have ever summoned on my account, uh, through shards that is. And he is also, uh, he pairs surprisingly well with Artac. Um, it, it feels like they kind of uh, overlap each other, but they actually, they work out great on my team for whatever reason. They don't cancel each other out or anything, uh, or or I don't see it because it seems to work for me. Uh, but I absolutely love this guy. He's on my Nightmare Hydra team. Uh, he's an S tier. Uh, he's at least an A plus Hydra Nuker, uh, but I, I, I really like him. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are down to Demon Spawn and Prince Kaimar pulled him at 4 a.m. one night. I got my uh, clan boss in. I got a blue shard on a two times, ten times event for him like two years ago, two and a quarter years ago. Blew my mind. I couldn't sleep for like an hour. Uh, and he's amazing. He's S tier, obviously. Arena and just as a support champion in different areas of the game uh used all over for his reset abilities absolutely amazing uh tyrant is another one of those uh champions that kind of like Ignatius. he's a hp burner he's okay i never use him he's an f for me but he's probably a b champion he's okay he can be used for those AOE burns, but I just I just don't need him personally. Pefrak, he is kind of a funky champion. He's fun to use. He's totally usable in arena situations. Uh, maybe not the best, but he's fun to play. 
Uh, I would say that he's like an A minus nuker. Uh, if you can build him well, great. Uh, I, I use him all the time. He's fun. Uh, Drexthar, still pretty good. Uh, can be used in like early Hydra situations, but mostly used for this provoke and HP burn. Uh, I use him in like some Doom Tower stuff or whatever. He's still pretty good. He's a B tier champion. Wyther is underrated. She's got an amazing cleanse, uh, increased defense. She's got a leech. She could be used early on in Hydra, but she's also useful in a lot of Doom Tower stuff. Uh, I actually like her a lot. I'm going to say that she's a B plus champion. And then Helicath, he's still an A plus champion in my opinion. Uh, obviously, when when I got him, I used him in my clan boss team. I don't anymore. I don't. I don't really use him a ton anymore. I probably should use him more. Uh, he's still very good in like arena situations, uh, but because I don't use him in the clan boss anymore, uh, he was like a year ago an S tier champion for me, and now he's like. I'll say he's like an A champion. Like, he was better, but he's still great. Still love him. Undead Hordes, Morrigan was a champion that I skipped her fusion uh, because the epic was so good, and I didn't really have the resources to go for her at the time. But then I summoned her later, and I kind of underutilized her because I built Lysandra first, uh, but she's still very good. Uh, in live arena situations and again I bet she could probably be used in Hydra if you built her just right maybe somebody has tried her out in Hydra let me know uh, I, I still think she's very good she's an A tier champion in my opinion um, ultimate death knight is still S tier maybe you love him maybe you hate him but you probably use him and I still think I still think he's great. He's just he's so annoying to go against though. Um, but I found my ways around him, and maybe you have too. Uh, he, he's still great. Uh, Marshalad I pulled a few months ago, and he's still really good. Like I used him in Hydra. Uh, he can be used in Arena. Uh, probably it's probably useful in other areas. I'm not so sure, but uh, he's got. Uh, this heal reduction is really good, maybe against Amius. Uh, he's got a lot of stuff in his kit. He's still really good. I still think he's like an, an A champion. Uh, Eurost, uh, he can be used to solo some Doom Tower stuff, but I just didn't need it because I already had teams built that were going to be faster. And so I never use him. For me, he's an F. Uh, for people who use him and love him, He's probably like a B tier champion. He's been kind of useless for me, unfortunately. Uh, Dark Elves. I got a lot of Dark Elves. Ray was my nuker for a long time until I got Supreme Elhane. And then I got Baron. Uh, but she's still very good. Uh, she's like a B tier nuker, but I like her. Uh, True Ath is not amazing he's a little bit useful in some certain areas but i don't love him he's like a d tier champion marinix is super disappointing you would think she'd be good with the hex and maybe some people have built her really well and maybe they've gotten some use out of her in hydra or something but for me she has failed me every time she's an f uh vizier with Astrolith, these two champions together can be very good. They can be used it with the bombs and the spreading of the bombs. Uh, mostly in arena situations when you go against somebody that you know they're not going to be able to block your bombs. It's a great matchup that I just kind of underutilize. I think they're both B tier champions. But they can be fun if you set them up fairly well. Queen Ava got a buff. I still don't really use her, but you could use her for um, the block revive. I had her as my 
a campaign farmer for a long time. I would say that she's a B tier champion. She used to be worse, but now she's a little bit better. Rule has always been frustrating to me. Uh, he's one of those champions that if you build him perfectly, you set him up everything right, he could be like an A tier, maybe even S tier Hydra Nuker. But he's so frustrating for me that he has always failed me. He's been an F for me, but I know that he is usable. Lydia is S tier. Use her all over the place. You can use her in Arena. You can use her in Hydra. You can use her in Spider. You can use her in a ton of dungeon situations. You get her, you love her. Physics, I have never really liked this champion. I know that she can be used in Hydra and uh, anywhere that you need this provoke. I just don't like her personally. I feel like she's a C tier champion and there are better options out there. Mithrala is still S tier. Use her in Hydra. Use her in Arena. Use her in Spider. Use her in Dungeons. Keep your team alive. Put the Hex out there. She's amazing. Knights Revenant. Gaius is not amazing, but he is fun. He is usable in Arena situations. He put the, puts those bombs. He, he's a little bit of a troll champion. He's kind of a gimmicky bomb champion. He's still really fun. I still really like him. He's like a B tier nuker. But in the right situations, if they can't block your buffs, he's great. Uh, Shemnath. Uh, I made a video about Shemnath when she was guaranteed for 4th of July. She's a B tier nuker. You can use her if you build her really strong. Maybe she can do some damage, but I don't love her. Uh, but she's a really cool champion. Like, she looks cool. Uh, Eryx is an A-tier arena champion and can also be used to do some solo work in Spider and stuff. I don't really use Eryx. I don't really love Eryx. For me, she's more of like a B-tier nuker, but for other people, I think that she's an A-tier nuker. Like, she can be very good. I just don't... I just don't really use her. And Korra is S-tier in my opinion. Mostly just for Arena, though. Um, and Amius, she could probably be used in some dungeons, but not really her specialty, because she just doesn't have an AoE revive, uh, unfortunately. AoE revive would make her uh, even stronger. That'd be crazy. Thea, I don't use her. She's an F. Versolf, I don't use him. He's an F. Mother Sibylle uh, is actually pretty good. Like, I don't use her a ton, but I use her to take down Amius, uh, one of the hardest uh, areas of content in the game. Uh, so for that, she's great. And she could be used, again, with that increased speed and uh, decreased speed on the A1. She could be used in Hydra. So I'd say that she is an A tier champion that I don't use a ton, but I use some. Theodore is awesome. He's still an A tier champion. Uh, really great for things like the ice golem or the dragon uh he's just got those poisons decreased speed we can i, I really like that guy uh walking tube drain is still an a tier champion that i use for my sand devil and he could be like i used to use him early on in hydra uh not really arena but he could be used in different dungeons uh use him in ice golem hard yeah He's still, he's still an A-tier champion. I really like him. Uh, we are down to the dwarves already. Trunda is S-tier. When I first got into the game, she was S-tier for Arena. Now she's more like A-tier for Arena. She can still be used there, but you really want to use her in Hydra, don't you? Now, I don't have one of those amazing Hydra teams, but I do use her in kind of a normal way. and She's still very good for me. She's still S-tier. Uh, if I had a better team, better setup, better build, she'd probably be even better. Mountain King was my first legendary on this account that I pulled from a shard. Uh, my first legendary was Ninja because I joined during that first promo stage. And Mountain King was a hard carry for me for like six months. And then I really never used him again. Uh... He was like a B-tier nuker. 
He probably at one point was an A-tier nuker. And he just slowly crept down, and now I never use him. He's kind of F-tier. Sadly. Sadly. Borgar the Elder. Uh, fairly situational with the increased resistance. <laughs> he looks really cool. Uh, I've used him a little bit, but he's like a C-tier champion. Uh, Nari the Lucky. I've Another fusion that I skipped and I have pulled at least two copies of this piece of trash dwarf. I don't use him. I don't like him. He's an F tier to me. Uh, I know that he's probably usable somewhere, but I don't like him. Molly is amazing. The best Hydra Provoker in the game as far as I know, unless somebody recently has overtaken her. She is in my Nightmare Hydra team. I love her. One of my favorite champions on my account. She's an... A plus maybe S tier personally I find her to be S tier but mm, maybe some people out there would say A plus uh, Kira the Watcher uh, if you get her you're probably gonna put her into your Lady Mikage fusion probably now I summoned her and then I was able to fuse her so I kept a copy I don't use her at all she's like a C tier champion she could be used like Early Demon Lord or something. Not great. Newt is an S tier nuker for every big boss in the game and you know it. Uh, Tormund is still very useful. Uh, super annoying in Live Arena. Uh, I put in my Arbiter and they put in their Tormund. That's the way it goes. He's still A tier. He's more of a control champion than he is a nuker, but he can he can hit a little bit hit a little bit too. Shadow Ken, Lady Mikage, my only uh, <laughs> mythical. We're, we're not grading mythicals here, but she's S tier for my account. Probably an A tier mythical. Uh, pretty much all the mythicals are great. Uh, but we got Ninja. Uh, he is so usable in so many areas. Uh, he is still like an A plus champion. I currently use him. Uh, for Amius and for Phantom Shogun's Grove. Those are like his two areas of expertise for my account. But he can be used in Hydra. He's still great. Uh, is it no great Blade Master? A very disappointing champion for me. I know that she can be used for Hardfire Knight. Uh, just wasn't working out for me. It wasn't doing it uh, for me. From my account, she's like a C tier champion. She's probably a little bit better than that, but she disappointed me. Tatsu! This was an S tier summons. Only so that I could feed her into Lady Mikage. I don't have her. She's not a good champion anyway. She's probably an F tier champion. Uh, she's got some stuff in her kit. <laughs> I don't know where people would use her. I don't think she's great. I actually thought she was really cool looking in uh, Call of the Arbiter, but champion, I don't know if anybody uses her. Uh, Genzin is probably like an A minus champion. Like, he can be used in like Hard Fire Knight and stuff. He's just not in that team for me. I don't really use the dude. He's okay. He just doesn't really help out my account. Uh, Kyoko is like a solid B tier ally protector. She's okay. I pretty much just use her in faction stuff. And Karato, I mean, obviously he is better with Yumiko, who I don't have. And if you have Yumiko, you probably have better options. He's a B tier nuker. He's okay. I don't hate him. I do use him for some faction stuff. And that's it. I did that really fast, relatively. I mean, we're 40 minutes in just about. That's it. That's my account. Please let me know if I'm underrating somebody because I love to learn new things about champions. I don't know everything about every champion that I own. Uh, but, you know, three years in and I can beat pretty much everything in the game except for... Uh, <laughs> obviously I'm not taking down, uh, <laughs> uh, 
soul cross of Centronos. So that's not happening. But pretty much everything else, most of the time, I can take it down. Um, Amius, I can beat sometimes. And uh, that's my account three years in. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Thanks for playing Raid with me. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more Raid content, then I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. Add to that number above my head. I am trying to get to a thousand subs. And I'd appreciate your subscription. If you liked the video, hit like. And come back for more Raid content. See ya!